What's up, YouTubers? This is uh, Neo Mustangs. Basically here, showing you an O2 harness for an 87 to 93 Ford Mustang. They made four different ones. One's uh, speed density only. If the speed density, if it was speed density only, it wouldn't have this loop wire here. It would just have these five, which is your power ground, signal, signal, signal return, and the low oil sensor. There wouldn't be anything here. Um, all Fox bodies had a three pin connector, four pin connect or three pin connector for the O2 sensors themselves. Now the configuration here is pretty simple. And I'm using this harness because it has all three holes. This is considered a number one position or excuse me, the number, yeah, the number one position. This is the number five position. This is the number six position. Now we're just going to label them, okay? So this right here right now is pinned from one to five, right? According to what I was just saying. This is actually pinned for 88, 89, 90 mass air. Because like I just said, speed density, if it was speed density, it wouldn't have this loop wire at all. So one to five is considered the jump loop wire for the neutral safety sending circuit, whatever, neutral sending circuit for the uh, neutral safety switch okay now if this was an aod car 88 89 90 all the way up to 93 because it's all the same it would be pinned from number five position to number six position it would just be looped here now in 91 they changed it because they started changing some of the computers um with the manuals manual actually had two o2 harnesses and they both worked the same it's fine but uh it was pinned Basically, there's a little stuff in there. Basically, it was pinned number one position to number six position. See what I'm saying? One to six for 91, 93 manual only. Like I said, again, AOD is five and six position, and that's 88 to, to, to 93. They never changed the automatic one. It was always the same. 80, 88, 89, 90 mass air, one to five. 91, 93, one to six. And in the AOD... And then speed density didn't have anything at all. Now you could run a you know speed you could run a mass air harness or mass air O2 harness, no problem on a speed density because it doesn't even utilize the loop, and you don't need this harness when you're converting to mass air on an 87, and you already have this loop in it, depending on what year in 88 your car was made, because in 88 they started putting these loops in, but they didn't do it till midway through the year because that's when they started changing everything to mass air. So. I hope that clears up a little bit of confusions real quick. It's always smart to match your harness, your O2 harness, because of the neutral safety switch to the computer and the dash harness, the car that you're running it in. Take, for instance, I'm doing a T5 swap in a 91, uh, and I want to change the A9P out, which is the auto computer for an A9L. Well, you can either repin your harness from number one position to number six position, like I told you, 91, 93 is one to six, or you can buy another harness, but you, whenever you're changing your computer, you want to change the O2 harness or at least repin yours. So I hope this clears some stuff out. You know, I always go through all my harnesses real, real good. Make sure there's no burns and breaks. There's a, a natural unions in there where they were soldered together. You know, as long as it's not brittle, most of the time, the, most of the factory wiring harnesses are just fine. You know, it depends on, you know, you'll know if the wire's old and has bad resistance because it'll just be real hard or, or it'll just start breaking or whatever but anyways hope that clears up some thanks